Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 20, season 1 of the KCCFC TV show and that means for the past 20 Sundays on the bounce, to be precise, for the past 5 months, the KCCFC TV show has been airing every Sunday 10pm on Sanyuka TV and being the 20th episode of this show, this one is quite enticing because the menu has a plethora of stuff. And to start with, we have the fan zone for this week's show, we have the social media trivia for this week's show, we have a player who was promoted from the KCCFC junior team last year and has never played a KCCFC senior team game. He will be telling us his story. We shall relieve one of the games that happened in the 2019-2020 season. And also, we have a guest for this week's show. We have the CEO of KCCFC coming here in the studios today telling us what is the story behind the making of the 2020-2021 season. Remember, earlier on this weekend, KCCFC launched its home kit for the next season. She's here to tell us everything, the story behind all this. But hey, my name is Magero Moses Mwanje, and we are walking this journey definitely together. Now to start it off with this week's club news, the federation that is FUFA came out and gave its position about the Stanbic Uganda Cup for the 2019-2020 season. And this is what FUFA had to say, that the Stanbic Uganda Cup 2020 prize money distribution will be as follows. Remember the tournament was cancelled as per last week's show when we informed you that there will be no more 2019-2020 Stanbic Uganda Cup football. And this is, going to, this is what is going to happen uh, because the tournament was cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic. Then six clubs that had already reached the quarterfinals will each get shillings, six million Uganda shillings. That is Proline Football Club, KCCA Football Club, Chetume Football Club, Light SS, Chitara and Kataka. Then the other six clubs that had been eliminated at the round of 16 will each pocket three million Uganda shillings. That is Chiboga Young, Doves, Maroons, UPDF, Toro United and Mukono based Free Stars. Then the four clubs that were yet to play their round of 16 matches will share the prize money for their ties, implying that each will bag shillings 1.5 million Uganda shillings, that is Uganda Revenue Authority Football Club, Wakiso Giants Football Club, Sports Club Villa, and Barra City Football Club. So that is the position from FUFA as per the Stanbic Uganda Cup 2019-2020 season. Money distribution has happened. Uh, we hope that money will get to KCCFC as soon as possible because we really need that money. So as and when we get it, the masses will get to know. Thank you very much from FUFA. Now for the social media trivia for this week, remember last week we did not have the social media trivia, but now for this week we are back and running and for this week we asked a question on our social media pages, that is at KCCFC on Twitter and KCCFC on Facebook. And then we said, how many times has KCCFC won the Uganda Premier League? Very easy question. State the year and final points per season. Then Ejaze is up for grabs for the winner and will be given out on the KCFC TV show on Sunday, 10 p.m. on Sanyuka TV. And just like as usual, the fans gave their answers and their opinions on these platforms. And we'll start with Warum Bright, who said KCCFC has won the Uganda Premier League title 13 times. And then he says 1976, 35 points, 1977, 45 points, 1981, 48 points, 83, 48 points, 85, 41 points, 91, 35 points, 97, 76 points, 2007, 2008, 74 points, 2012, 2013, 63 points, 2013, 2014, 60 points, 2015, 2016, 57 points, and 2016, 2017, 66 points. And lastly, 2018, 19, 66 points. That is Warum Bright. Then at Matthias Marvin 2 on Twitter says 13 titles in total, which is right. 76, 35, 77, 45, 81, 48, 83, 48 points, 85, 41 points, 91, 35 points, 97, 76 points, 2008, 74 points, 2013, 63 points, 2014, 60 points, 2016, 57 points, 2017, 66 points, and 2019, 66 points. That is Matthias Marvin on Twitter. Second last respondent on Twitter, Kenneth Neymar, says KCCFC has 13 Uganda League titles in total as follows. Quite right. 76, 35, 77, 45, 81, 
48, 83, 48 points, 85, 41 points, 91, 35 points, 97, 76 points, 2007, 2008, 74 points. And then um, he says 2013, 63 points, 2014, 60 points, 2016, 57 points, 2017, 66 points, and then 2019, 66 points. That is Kenneth Neymar. But the winner for this week's social media trivia on Twitter is Warum Bright, who said uh, that KCFC has won 13 Uganda Premier League titles and mentioned all the years and the points quite right. So congratulations, Mr. Warum Bright. You'll be getting your third kit for KCCFC for the 2020-2021 season. Yes, I said it because we are maintaining that kit. We're likely to maintain that. So you'll be getting that kit next week, and um, this will be at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo. So we go to Facebook, where we had the same question asked, and the respondents, Abu Baker bin Ahmed, says 13 times, and he just mentioned the years without the points. He said 1976, 77, 81, 83, 85, 88, 91, 2007, 2012, 2013, 2015, 16, 18, and lastly 19. Please, I need the jersey. Ah, he even put a disclaimer. Abu Baker did not include the points, so we are sorry he did not get the jersey. And then Jalaluddin Kabito says, where is our new kit of the new season? It is already launched, sir, and you can get it at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo. Then Ariho Akibu Badru says 13 titles, okay. Then Tuesime Fortune, Cipriano says 13 times without the years and points. Rodrin Kabako Bogere did just like Abu Baker did, says 13 times and says 1976, 1977, 1981, 1983, 1985, 1988, 1991, 97, 2007, 2012, 2013, 2015, 2016, 2018, and 2019. Then Rutanga Zwab Frank just gave us fire emojis. Thank you very much. And then finally, Kenneth Kenny Jr. says KCCFC in total has 13 Uganda Premier League titles as follows. 1976 with 35 points, 1977 with 45 points, 1981 with 48 points, 1983 with 48 points, 1985 with 41 points, 1991 with 35 points, 1997 with 76 points, 2007, 2008 with 74 points, 2012, 2013 with 63 points, 2013, 2014 with 60 points, 2015, 2016 with 57 points, 2016 and 17 with 66 points, and finally 2018 and 2019 with 66 points. So Mr. Kenneth Kenny Jr., a person who really um, adheres to these social media trivia things, because I already see his um, I mean answers. This time he's a winner, so congratulations Mr. Kenneth Kenny Jr with the best answer on Facebook for this week's social media trivia. And you'll also be picking that jersey next week at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo. So for the fans on this week, we asked our fans a question that FUFA, I mean, came out and made a decision on the Stanbic Uganda Cup that the tournament will not continue. And then we asked them about the FUFA decision to call off the Stanbic Uganda Cup. Then the distribution for the money to the clubs, do they think it was really fair? That, for, that is for the clubs that remain in the competition. And also FUFA's decision to announce KCCFC as the representatives in the Cup Confederations Cup. For this year, the fans gave their opinions and this is what happened when we caught up with the KCCFC fans on the opinions about this matter. Amanya Louis Isaac. Mvude Ntebe. Amanya Nze Love Rogers, mviri de kuba itava vidi, kukalo kawafu. Um, amanya Nze Chiseka Umaru, mkesi CFC mkuvewe yogerele. Uh, Umuramua, okubanti Uganda Cup, fufa ya vudeyo nega matayonge zivuayo, hakumao. Nze ndo uza nandi genzi nendo uza ya fufa ransonga. Nti botunu lilo vude, wabache tuandisa time flame. Ntineri ijibagamba, eja kutani kama novemba. Bwabandi mkurachi, mkuroza. Kati obudo obo, nabu obo okubanti tugenda mu Uganda Cup. Timu watezi mo kutravolinga. Zivyo wanozi gende mchifechi lala. Ezo na sente, esawa zino kumbela ya COVID-19. Ti, ne sente te zidi uo. Timu zidi mbele chi, yeitaga nubu yambi. Yeitago kubanti zi yambu wako financially. 
nti ne testing kit sezo zira za bay muri mu team ku mutende ya guno tuliko kutubade tugenda ko ngate zijja kusobola ku sustaining ambire ya ku testing abazanyi na abatende si na bidale bigendera ko kati mu mbere yunze nginda ne cha fun tukolechi tukomao abantu basobola nokufuna akasente ke basigaza wakati ni wake bayina u betekele liji tendo za fufa che yakoze okustopinga Uganda Cup nji wagira kubanga obali ji waji wajiko mya makati like no ji stopping anga yali echa agenda masa techi lwachi ne Uganda Cup to jikomi ya kubanga twali tulowoza anti fenga bake sisi tusobola kuwangula ne no jikomi ya kati ne Uganda Cup naji wagide nyo fufa era ndi kusaidi ayo um okusokera dalanze njja kutambula no kusala okwa fufa ntinga bo yali emazo okusala wo nti DJ no ke imire ke komawo ya koma kumpire yali gisambiddwa ako ne salawo ne biya salawo ebirala omwali team ezigenda kuweta ba mu chikopo cha kirabu mpango zikuluka lwa bula lwa lwa Afrika nti mu yali emaze no kutera KCCF si team yange je mpagira nti ate mu kugama nti no nti Uganda Cup edemu yeyongereyo Chandi bade chiko ntua di kitinga nuku sara woku wabu. Nti senga kesisi, senga Uganda Cup ye yonge dayo. Kesisi nejeba nga siye wangu de. Uwari chandi bade chila wika chitia. Kala wunzi, ntambula nuku sara woku wafufa. Nti yakolo kusara woku lunji. Echecha sente fufa ze ya kutene wa makirabu. Sina nyo nyo chinsu wa chogi lako kubaka tinzengo wa kesisi nafunye milio nga mukaga. Siro za nti milio nga mukaga nso zi milia kenyo. Na ya atera kusaidi emu weba za mufufa, nti wade chitono na ye sente ze sente. Neba na bafunya akamwe chitundu. Bagende nezo, wate wali ya leta bulu wade chajia chajia. Tukilize katonda chaya leta, tuchive muvi. Sente, nzenda bazezo. Ziba kila abonga zomanyi, zisa asa zinja chineni. Okusunga kusente ziko zechi, ezi wele mbua. Nti wali otimu, katinge yangi. Nti etade mchi inji. Na yoro kumbereli uo financially. Buli umu achiraba. Nti ni wobo genzi mwanga gali aga kula kula nyi aga tusinga kwe. Yana voti imu za wazaz kula chi. Zistu wa guli inga mubi nsi imbi. Buli umu ati kristi. Nti njia kwe wazafu fanti. Yati na linze mmanyi. Te inza nuku gama anti tota yalivana yitu koze chi. Tufaili nzi. Kwa yati wala jajine nyalu wachi mufaili nzo kula chi. Okubaa kwa wadike mutu wala. Na yenze ngamba. Mweba ya soda toko kubako keto la ulitimu na ejiwa ayoko. Tugende nako, tusima ako. Ngatibu tugea tereza mpola mpola kuruwe mbeleri wei ya COVID-19. Well, ukusala wakwa fufa na dala kusente za sponsor. Mungeri jeza agaba nyezi duamu. Na cho ndo uza chaba defe ya nti. Timu zinongabe za hizi kompiti nze. Nga ziko zese za sente nyingi. Zali zino kubeda anga wakili bazi funira ya kantu. Kubange edari ijite ya guwa. Na mpozi chenda banze, e wataba defea, kwekubeda nti hawa iteba nama kuzanya mipira jawe, boba afunye akasente katono nyo, ukusinga ate kubali bazanye, haba vudeko, na haba lala haba aliba iseko. Kale ndo oza nti chotona cho sponsor cha yako zenga standbiki, na chochi lunji, nti sentezo mkasei laka nuketulimu, timu za adeze itaga sente. Timu za itaga sente nyingi uvori yao nukusinga kao, na henge chona cho kusala huku lunji. Nga, stand, nga sponsor wa yako zina hita sente, ilatu webaza fufu uluecho. Mm, kuchani ya ino kuchikira Uganda mu Confederations Cup, fufa, yele kulaganti ya hita mchi, umateki, ilagi ya some rovuru njibuli mtu, wabuli mna Uganda, umuagazi wa uomu pira, na agategi ila. Atenze, ndaba ntilawo, tunulia kumutendi la gotu waliku, uguwa Uganda Cup, nti, of KCC, wala mbo nabali uo, ya ina credentials, that is, nti financial maso ya ayo, eja sobo tuchikiri ya wichi, buru unji. Habala mbo na, nekumbe la kati ateri uo, ya COVID-19, bandi struggle inze. Ntuwa ntu sene kutai mweyandi tu uso, mtu na agama, bani nange, ni mire dua, njinzo obuta kolachi, obuta sobo la. Atene chita ataganyua, Gubandi badiba teka umo saa wezu. Katikunze ndaba anga. Kesi siye ntufo tuchikiri mu Confederations Cup. Awata lina buzi uvo na. Kubama nyi yeja kusobola. Yeja kupaforminga. Katifufo kusala u. 
ne gamba KCCA yagenda okuchikirira Uganda mu Confederations Cup nchiwagira ne era bo kitunula mu sogera ntwa kubandi wa KCCA ne kyali kitufu wa KCCA yali namba 2 ngevuganya ekikopo kyendo zanze nti yali yagenda kuchitwala nga kirabu endala jenera bilako ma melody ya kitwala bwe ekyo kunako lusembayo kati nze na ine eri esubi nti nafe tugenda kitwala kulonako lusembayo Ne fufa weba ya salao ne gamba kesi sike gende. Yari eba singa amanya haba siga demu. Atira yari eba e ine subi yari okuchitu. Wala atenga ne murije vuga nya atenga ne mbikopo yombi yari mu. Kati fufa kusalao ne etuwa. Faba kesi okuchikiri ya Uganda. Na chagala ne era chechari ya chitufu. Kwa bade kusada okulunji. Obo, obo liyao chisi nzira ku, kubude bebali vaino kutela yo. Abanta wagendo kuchikiri la eguanga mu, mu, mu competition zezo, mu CAF Champions League, ne CAF Confederations Cup. Nti, nga mkuongera okugeza ako, okugama, nti tumaleyo, tumaleyo Stanbik Uganda Cup, mwude, tuja kubate tusobola kubeda anga tukachinga hapu, nti, listi ya nivade ya, ya tambu la da, atenga Uganda Cup wano, tena wa kudamu, kubamu kaseta kia tubade munga finate, tumanyi uba tugena kudamu diyo kuzanyo mpira. Nga ate tuchimanyi, nti, Kafu Confederation Cape ya kuwe etambula mwudo utaribu wa wala. Kati mwakasa ila kote tusola kunenya fufa, wate tusola kunenya muntu yena, atenga chendo oza na ichi ilalanti kesi sila still, yeyaba da singa. Nga wotunu ila mutimu ya ziba dezi charimu, ne, 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 ne ziba itaza nawa kuzanyanga, zisu uviru okuzanya, ne ziba dezi ili muliji, kesi sila ili mfocha wakubi ili muliji, mwaya maride, atene wali nga abada achari yo, nzendo oza nte okusala wuka fufa kwa alifea. Wow, those are the opinions for the fans and just a disclaimer, the opinions you've had are only for the KCCFC fans, not for KCCFC as a football club. And uh, we really respect the opinions, that is their segment, the KCCFC fan zone segment. And we'll be having them more and more for that segment. Now we'll be going to a break, but when we return, we have the CEO of KCCFC and she'll be telling us the story behind the making and the design for the 2020 2021 season and she'll be telling us a lot more about that jersey and everything at the football club as the CEO guys. Everything after this break. Now welcome back from that break and just like we told you we have a guest for this week's show and that is the CEO of KCCFC. She's here to tell us a lot about the launch of the 2020-2021 home kit for KCCFC and a lot more about that jersey. We'll have her introduce herself and we take it on from there. Thank you so much. Uh, Nisha Shair Mhozi, CEO, KCCF Football Club. I'm happy to be here. Wow. Uh, just to ask something about uh, the roles of a, of a CEO, the stakeholder out there might not be knowing. What is the role of a CEO in a football club? Okay. Uh, the CEO of a football club is just like any other organization. There is pretty much uh, not a, bit, uh, a big difference. The role of the CEO is largely to ensure that the strategic direction that is set by the board is actually implemented in the organization. And for our instance, that is the club. So just to ensure that everything, every unit in the club, be it technical, be it marketing, be it media, finance, are they in line with the strategic direction that the board has set to summarize it? Wow, it's been two years in this job. Uh, any ups and, and, and lows? Uh, I mean, how has it been? Uh, two years. Wow, time flies yeah. by so fast. Uh, two years. It's been a, an interesting journey. Definitely it has had ups, it has had its downs, but um, on a large scale, I would like to say that uh, we are getting better by the day. There are great achievements that uh, the club has actually achieved. Uh, just like our theme last year, which was leaping forward, we have actually leaped forward in uh, quite a number of, uh, of things. But there are some things that we haven't done, and personally, <coughs> I had personal targets for me in that role and I've not yet achieved them. So I'm a little bit, um, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed that I've not been able to achieve. But yeah, we keep on moving on and hoping for the best.
Uh, I should first comment that you look smart, I should oh, say. Thank you. <laughs> New really kids. look smart. <laughs> now straight into it. Uh, earlier on this weekend, KCCFC launched the 2020-2021 home kit. That is the jersey the team will use for the next one year, at least. Um, what is the story behind the making of this, I mean, this jersey? We had a story last year. What is the story this year? Uh, maybe just to take uh, the viewers uh, back a bit. Two years ago, we started on... Um, um, we started on a journey where we let our judges communicate to the stakeholders, the various stakeholders. And just to give a bit of recap, for the 2018-2019, we had <coughs> our judges that had the seven hills of Kampala with the Impala leaping over it because that is the storyline of how the name Kampala came to be, okay? Then last year, 2019-2020, we continued in line with the same theme. We had the Impala still leaping over the seven hills of Kampala on the edge. And then the other design was a replica, was representing every other stakeholder. That is the fans, the sponsors, the, legisl the legislative bodies and, uh, and everyone. Now for this year, it's uh, quite different. It's speaking to the needs of the fans. The fans have, have really been crying, not even asking. They have really been crying. And it's not like they have been crying only, but it is a need that the football club has. And that is stadium development. We don't have a facility. Uh, on game days, you see when uh, it rains, <laughs> it is a mess. When the sun is out, it's equally a mess. So the club set out, um, uh, set out on this journey. And <clears throat> There has been a lot of lobbying, a lot of uh, lobbying that has happened. And uh, as you have been notified, you have always kept them uh, aware of what is happening. We know that uh, the Parliament of Uganda gave us money. Uh, we have 2.5 billion that is set aside towards this project. And right now, uh, we are just going through the, the normal procurement uh, procedures. And as we speak, the bids were evaluated and we are still waiting for that to be sorted. So yes. This time round, this year's theme is stadium development. We are focusing most of our energies into that. And we want to see this dream come to pass. We know that we have showed strategic plans before. We have shown, we have promised the fans, and we've never delivered. Not that we don't want, but because we have always been inhibited. But this year round, we hope that things are going to be better and different. So the lines that you see in the jersey, are pretty much the pillars, the poles that are representative of the stadium. Those are the lines that are running into the jersey, the main, main thing. And then because <coughs> uh, Kampala Capital City Authority Football Club draws its name from Kampala and the, and the Impala, we are not doing away with it. That's why you see our Impala is in that space adjacent to our logo because we believe that we need to identify with, with that. Kampala, Impala, they are one, they are two in one. So we are keeping on with that culture of identifying with our past as we shape the future. Then just down the logo, uh, down the jersey, sorry, we have an authentication logo that is still showing the seven hills of the, uh, the seven hills of Kampala with the Impala leaping forward because that is going to be something that the club, the, the Impala is something that we believe we are going to go on that is going to go on trending with the football club. So pretty much that is what the jersey is. Stadium development is the focus of the jersey. I have a friend who was asking why does the Impala, uh, I mean, why is it in that kind of direction? I think they now know that uh, uh, my friend was asking, I will not mention your name, but uh, the reason as to why the Impala is in that kind of direction is because we are, we are leaping forward. Uh, I think I'm right. Yes, we are leaping awesome. forward. Awesome. So CEO, who is the kit manufacturer mm. for this year's jersey? Unfortunately, we don't have a kit manufacturer as yet, and uh, we are making contacts with some, but uh, maybe to just educate the public a little bit why we don't have a kit manufacturer. The costing <coughs> that is set by the kit manufacturers are pretty much high, and we don't want uh, to make it difficult for our fans to actually access these jerseys. So that's why we still are trying to work out a module where we get a kit, a kit sponsor that can actually resonate with the market home. So we don't have a kit, we are doing the jersey ourselves, that means we are going to the market and doing everything. But we hope that in a few years time, or even next year, probably maybe we could have a kit sponsor. All right, now let's talk the different categories of, the, of this year's jersey. Uh, do we have different categories, or we have only for male? People out there want to know. No, 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 no. This year round, like I said, every year we keep on making improvements. 
This year round, we actually have a customized female version of the jersey, like the one I am donned in. It's, it's shaped to fit the female. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's shaped to fit the female, so we have actually very different jerseys. The male, they have their, their, their own jersey, and it's very, very unique because for the male version, it actually has lines that are running through the, the running through I don't know, running through here. Yeah. yeah, running running through the wings, yes. But for the female, we don't have that, and it is very distinct. And then we have uh, the uh, children this time round. Yes, last year we did bring a top only for the kids, but this year round we have actually scaled it up. We actually even have a short. So you get a complete kit for the children. Ah, for the kids, they're going to be looking like the player for KCCFC, how they look like when they're on the pitch. That's how, they're going to, how you're going to be if you're a kid out there in the yellow the blue shirt, everything full set. So the different sizes, uh, people have, I mean, I've always heard people say, uh, you know, uh, is everyone catered for? I mean, a person like me, a person like you, mm -hmm. and maybe another fat friend of mine. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, we started the journey last year. Well, we, we keep on improving. We have sizes, all sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, 5XL. We have sizes for everyone. So I know that this time round, we have catered for each and every one. Yeah. So what are the prices for this year's jersey? You know, because you've told us about the categories, you've told us about the kit manufacturer. So what is the price for the jersey for both the, 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 the grown and the kids? Okay, yeah. Uh, this year's jersey has slightly got, uh, we have a slight price increase. And uh, largely, that is largely because, uh, because of COVID, uh, the manufacturer increased the price, the cost price. The manufacturer increased the cost price, and then uh, <clears throat> also the freight cost in terms of uh, bringing the jersey from wherever we are ordering it from. There was an increase in price. So, but we didn't want the entire cost to go to the fans. So, what the club did, we actually took on some of the cost and we just marked up a small bit to the fans. So, the pricing for this year's season jersey is going to be at thirty-five thousand shillings only. And the one for the children is going to be at 40,000. But at 40,000, you get yourself a shirt and a shirt for the children. Those are the two pricings that we have. Guys, 35,000, pocket friendly, I should say. And for the kids, it's just 40,000. Please, parents, do not come wearing the jersey alone. Buy for that youngster, that kid. The CEO has said 35,000. And when you get, once you get it from the CEO, that means it's really right. And 40,000 for the kids. Okay. So um, then where does one get the jersey uh, if they want to buy that jersey? One, what do they get the jersey and when do these jerseys go on sale? Uh, the jerseys are going on sale uh, tomorrow. We will have the jerseys on sale. Tomorrow Monday? Um, tomorrow Monday, yes. We will have them at, uh, start, we are starting with uh, Star Times Stadium okay. where we are going to have uh, the merchandise shop up, up and running. Uh, but for those who are unable to actually come to Lugogo, Safe border is, go, is, still, is, still, is still active, you can order. Uh, but we are working out something and uh, in a few weeks, we are working out something, in a few weeks <coughs> we shall have probably other distribution channels. Uh, but for now, we are safe border, Lugogo. That's Speak where we are. Okay, speaking about distribution channels, do you hope to have maybe um, pin people get these jerseys probably on wholesale and help in the distribution especially in the in the places up country and how are you going to be able to do this mm, yes that's how we are we are planning to get select funds from the different uh, regions of kampala not not regions of kampala alone from the different districts of kampala we are working with the <coughs> the funds committee to get uh, a couple a couple of funds in these uh, different uh, areas and then we will work out um, we, we will work out something with them, but we avail the judges to them and they can then help us in terms of uh, selling them and having our fans easily access them. We'll but, as, but as we think of other, other innovative ways of getting the, fan, the judges out there. True. Uh, before we, I mean, someone has told me that uh, this year's jersey, once it's put on a flame, it does not burn. Uh, can we confirm this or can we refute this? You're on you, you, the show with us today, please. People want to know. Obviously, when you get any cloth, any cloth and you put it on fire, it will definitely get fire. But I would like to say that uh, the material has been improved as well. Uh, we keep on making, we keep on, the, the, the impala, 
like you mentioned, is in a leaping forward mode. The leaping forward mode means you live where you are and you go for better. So yes, we keep on making improvements and the jersey is not any different. So even this year we have improved in terms of the material, the feel. So yes, it is better at 35,000, but definitely when you put it on fire, like any other cloth, it will get... Well, someone said that. Okay, Madam CEO, the last remarks from you, uh, we'll be having you more and more on this show, but your last remarks in terms of uh, the jersey launch. Now, I'd like to implore all fans out there, please support the club in this initiative. Support us, support us, and buy this jersey. Help us, share with us ideas of how can we bring this jersey nearer to you. Uh, you very well know that the club has not been earning money from March. We have been closed, and up to now, we haven't yet opened. And yet we have your main stars, the players, who need to at least get their salary. And I'd like to, I I'd like to commend the board that even during this time, our players have continued getting full pay. It's not an easy thing, but the players have continued getting full pay. There has been struggles here and there, but that is what has been happening at the football club. So I would like to implore you, uh, just quick math, uh, if we sell out 2,000 jerseys at, at 35,000, the money that we get is not even enough to, to actually support us as a club for even one month. But at least it, it will go a long way in helping, in helping the football club run some of these activities. So we're actually calling upon everyone, go out there, buy the jersey, and not only buy it, but actually wear it. Wear it out there, let it be seen, let us be visible. Let us, be, let, let us paint the city yellow in our new stadium development jersey. So yes. So it's been a pleasure having you on the KCFC TV show for the first time, your debut. Not a bad one, I Yay! should say. Very good. <laughs> well, uh, that is the CEO of KCCFC. We shall be having her more and more on this show. Madam Anisha Muhozi, she'll be telling us more what is the direction for the football club in, in terms of everything happening down at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo. Now you've heard it, the home kit for KCCFC 2020-2021 season is out. 35,000 for the old people like me and 40,000 shillings for the kids, please, parents. And even out, people out there, when you're buying that jersey, buy for that young one. The jerseys are really affordable. And also to ask someone out there, does your team have a story behind the making of their jersey? Or you just make the jersey? Something to think about. We'll be going to a break. And when we return, we have a lot more still on the show. We are relieving one of the games that happened last season. That is KCCFC vs Maroons. And also a story from one of our players promoted from the junior team last year has never played for KCCFC senior team. Why has he never played and his story, plus the lessons learned, everything on this show. Now, welcome back from that break. And just like we told you, we have a story of a player who was promoted last year on July 2nd, 2019 from the KCCFC junior team to the KCCFC senior team. Unfortunately, he has never played a game for the KCCFC senior team. Why has he never played a game? And also, what is the story behind all this? And what are the lessons he has learned from all this? Everything on this show, the player says it. Please learn from him. My name is Bukenya Joseph Chiza, a footballer of KCCA Football Club. I come from Chebando, around Molago. Yeah, I'm going to be playing for KCCA Football Club this year. I was promoted to the senior team last year. In, uh, it was in around June, July, after signing my four-year contract. So as I was still playing for the junior team, we had a game against Vipers, uh, the game that ended 2-0 in our favor. So I jumped in the air and I landed badly and I got uh, a serious knee injury. When I went for the scan, it was a torn meniscal tear and the doctors told me it was a grade two tear. So after that, I had to, I, I didn't know what to do as a young kid, you know. I kept playing and in, along the way, I aggravated the injury. I think, because when I went back for the second scan, it was what, what was a grade two tear, it turned out to be a grade three tear. So I had to find means of how to recover. Uh, after I realized it was a grade three tear, I had to go to the team doctor. We talked and he advised me on how to, to sort out things. So I was advised to go for an arthroscopic, uh, it was, you know, there are two different things. There is an arthroscopic surgery and an arthroscopic diagnosis. So I had to go for an arthroscopic diagnosis 
to check like what really is the problem with the knee. So I went in for an arthroscopic diagnosis, which most people like they, they don't differentiate it between a surgery and a diagnosis. It was a diagnosis, it wasn't a surgery. So after the diagnosis, it was found out that the meniscal tear I had, after resting for a period of uh, two to three months, the, 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 mini, the meniscus had gotten better than how it was. So I was advised by the doctor to, by the team doctor, to do some physiotherapy for a period of uh, four to five months. So I did some physical exercises like the, the, the muscle strengthening exercises with the doctor for a period of a month before he sent me to the team trainer, the fitness coach. And uh, I was to work with the fitness coach for a period of three to four months. That's making it uh, approximately five to six months. So I had to come, come for training in the morning and evening. I had to do strengthening in the morning and speed in the evening. So I did that for a period of three to four months and I was advised not to play football right away. After my strengthening, I had to go to gym and I was supposed to gym for a period of a month. I was advised by a team doctor again that I should eat like, mass, like uh, body strengthening foods. Like I used to eat posho, I used to eat uh, too much beans which have uh, a lot of proteins. I used to eat vegetables like cabbage, sukuma wheat, such things, and I was advised to drink so much. If I was advised to take in a lot of fluids, actually juices like splash, and uh, I didn't disappoint the doctor in that. I drank so much like the drinks I was told to drink, and I ate so much the foods I was advised to eat. Well, when you're in, when you're still young, when you're a young kid, most of the times you don't know what you're doing. You might be doing a wrong thing and for you, you think it's the right thing. So when I got the injury, I continued playing and I missed out. Actually, I missed out because my friends, the ones I was promoted with, uh, Musa Ramadan, Ada, Anaku, uh, those of Kafumbe, you know, they left me a step ahead and maybe probably if I didn't continue playing, I would have been on the same page with them and maybe by then I would be also like, because most of the fans don't know me, I was out for a full season, a complete season. And one thing, one more thing I've learned, actually when you get an injury, most of the times the manager forgets about you. You, call, you, you. you come back when the manager has already got another person to play in that position. But I'm quite sure that now I'm back, I will fight for the position that is rightfully mine. And I know I won't do the same mistakes I did. Once I get an injury, I rest out. You know, there is nothing as difficult as impressing someone you had already impressed and then you go out for that long time. Because I was out for a period of five to seven months. Yeah, that's really, really long. So all I urge, like all I urge the fans, those people who are waiting for what I'm going to present, I'm working so hard and I really, really feel like I will impress the manager again to get all I to get to get the favor again from the manager. Cause I, I need to work hard to see that I get playing time. I see I need to work hard so that I get into the first 11 to, 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 like to give up for the time wasted. Because I wasted too much time like being out. Yeah, it wasn't something very, very good. But I'm looking forward for this season. I need to score more goals. I need to assist more goals. And I need to work with the team to see that we achieve this season. And I need to see that we win the league for this season, the league that failed us last season, the CAF Confederations Cup. We really need to make it to the group stages. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to work with the team so that we can achieve that. Well, guys, you've heard it from Kiza Bukenya. He's a player that played only one year for the KCCFC junior team, was able to impress the coaches, promoted to the KCCFC senior team. Unfortunately, he was never able to play for the KCCFC senior team because he kept an injury and aggravated it to something that was really, really, really bad. But he's back now, fresher than before, and he's rearing to go. Please, I hope you've really learned from him and never joke around with any injury. Once you're injured, please stick to the guidelines of the physiotherapist. Akiza Bukenya learned his lesson, but right now he's fresh. Man, he was young at the time. He's really now matured. And uh, we hope he's going to be a very good player and a phenomenal player for the club for the 2020-2021 season. And probably he will get to play his debut for KCFC after a one year and some good months. Something to learn about this player.
Now, earlier on in the show, we told you we'll be relieving one of the games for the 2019-2020 season. And this is KCCFC versus Maroons. The game happened at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo. And in this one, definitely, KCCFC was captained by Charles Lukwago, defense having Musa Na and Peter Magambo. The midfield had Gift Ali and, and Kezron Kizito marshalling the midfield just like as usual. And Mike Mutiaba plus Elisa Sekisambi were tasked to look for the goals for KCCFC on the day. In the 20th minute, Magambo's long ball found a chai down the wing. The man beat his man and crossed the ball for Seki Sambu, who knocked down for Mike Mutiaba. Mike Mutiaba fired that ball right in the top corner to make it 1 0 for KCCFC in the 20th minute. Mike Mike Dangerous Mutiaba on Fubukono at Tevio Golonga Yakakona Kumpira, Emirundi, a Jita Suka, a Satu, or Nako Luarero, Naye on Fuka, Elisa Sesambua, Sibio Mupira, Ga Defense Yamarun is the Mutunu, the Naf, Novude, Obu passing on Piro, Mike Mutiaba, Ono Ya Singa, Okubane Technique, a Yoku shooting outside the boxy. You love his foot, you love his feet on Fubukono, Mike Mutiaba, Mubutufu, Kasachiwanga, or setting the Mike Mutiaba, Evida. In the 24th minute, Mike Mutiaba ran between two defenders, chested the ball down, damaged one of his markers, and shot, but Sewalunyo was equal to the task. Ball was parried wide. <laughs> Atenga Marunzo, msaji alazen namba, tukilize tugane. Atenga alinago ya simba wa ansimu takeri endeje. Sima nyo waba musima ye takari endeje rivera ligonda kumpira kwa yuara e. Mike Mutiaba ya salo mtu na yeso nseka oyuzo Kochi ya mwena bila dando hoza Kuse kezro ni nana mikaburo nje nyo A shooting abati kukol Nego kipa handing to the sebo alu nyo In the 38th minute Gifts Ali and Kezron Chisto combined and exchange passes Kezron played a picture book pass to Seki Sambu Who ran and finished for KCCFC Making it 2-0 on the day Crazy stuff from the fans that day the first half ended 2 nil in favor of KCCFC. And when the second half returned, in the 54th minute, Kiza Mustafa dribbled past his man, passed the ball to Gift Ali, who shot from 30 yards, but Sewalunyo parried the ball up and above. In the 57th minute, the lively right wing for KCCFC came hunting again. Moses Aliro played a 1-2 with Seki Sambu. The latter played back to Aliro, who crossed in the box, but Seki Sambu's effort flew up and above. Close for KCCFC. Duki na katebe katimi ya kesi siye. Kuliko seba wako miye wo. Bumla anti asika. Spese zimpiti rifunyo. Chinzo kubanga sicha ango kube rango lese winga. Ngo jeyo seta tani. Paino kusibira no wano ya debali se forward. Atelo sama back. Aliro wana agamba. Bada imu nsonyi we. Mbada nja kube ranga. Nguteka wali muntu na ye kuba ise komwe na. Na yenga sebo ya sebo walu nyo na yo. In the 66th minute, a well-planned move by Maroons ended up as a goal after Fred Amaku's cross deflected off KCCFC's Peter Magambo and the game going to 2-1 at that moment, Maroons pulling one goal back. Peter Magambo, center back, Wado. Yega Sekuba Baka, Aba Werako, Obama Sambi, Abe Kubye. All the goals in season here, no. By Igam Mohamed, by Orombi Ronald, by Isaac Sinde, by Ibrahim Chiemba, by Nabaluwa Dennis, Hassan Mohamed Rashid, by Chukunu Moses Abavira, by Babetebiye. Goal is a to make a powerful header. Kuri wazi kutaka wuno danger man. Yata dewo kuyafu deko goal. Ona amaku yafu deka tebe juki la manya ina. Kuku deku baka wano bobu seko. Amaku. Esawa yo data dewo pasu wane ganyo kwe lange itamu. Muku wanaga ambate we hindi na balara bona. Amaku yaba teke dene. Nga kwa asisti. Ho. Amaye kudote kuna kwa. Echotu kilizika nyando za fena. 
Kona ni akutaru. Ne kesi si yakafuna ataru. Ngoka mbeno bundi fudu. In the 87th minute, Kiza Mustafa dribbled, damaged his man, passed the ball to Gift Ali, who shot at the edge of the box, but Sebalunyo still kept his effort out. Ajeo mpira kwa Gift Ali. Shot ya kubili yonu na korua lero. Goro ye anonya esu wakati dada season ye no mtha times. 2-1 the final score, KCCFC beating the prison side Maroons on the day and a very interesting and a very beautiful game of football down at the Star Time Stadium logo on the day. Definitely KCCFC coming up strong and better on the day. And that's been it for this week's show. Remember, we had the social media trivia where we had winners for this week's show. We had the fan zone where the fans gave their opinions about FUFA's decision to call off the Stanbic Uganda Cup for the 2019-2020 season. Then we also had one of our players who was promoted from the junior team in the 2019 season to the KCCFC senior team. He told his story why he has never played a senior team game and the lessons he's learned from that. And also what he hopes for the 2020-2021 season. We relieved one of the games for last season. That was KCCFC vs Maroons, where KCCFC matched winners in this one, getting 2-1 at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo. And not to forget, we had a guest for this week's show. That is the CEO, Madam Anisha Muhozi, telling us the story behind the launch of the 2020-2021 home kit for KCCFC. Does your club have a story behind the make for its jersey? Not to forget, the jerseys are on sale starting tomorrow, Monday, 35,000 for the people that are like me, I mean the old people, and 40,000 Uganda shillings for the kids, guys. Go and buy that local jersey, buy those jerseys and support your team. The fans have always been asking, the where are the jerseys? Now the jerseys are here, 35,000 and 40,000 for the kids. Episode 21 will be next week on Sunday, same time, 10 p.m. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. Have a good night.